hardworking student. He uh, get all his work done, took as much time as he needed. He wanted to make sure everything was perfect. Everything was correct. Very meticulous in everything he did. He just wanted to make sure it was all exactly how I wanted it to be or how he thought it should be. He just wanted to make sure it was perfect and that there was no like real major errors. Or anything. Like, he's very meticulous in what he does. He's expressed interest in going to be a history teacher or even maybe a professor at college. And I think uh, Louis will do real good at that. Um, very strong background. His mom's a teacher too. She's always encouraging him to try to do his best and everything. She teaches here with us, so see her a lot on a daily basis. And um, he's, you know, very knowledgeable in the stuff that he's doing. And uh, I can see him being a teacher or even possibly a politician uh, if he puts his mind to it. He has a lot of ability. Um, so I think what motivates me, uh, I'd have to say, is uh, how much I would want to major in this specific area. And um, as Mr. Hazlitt mentioned uh, during his uh, section, um, my mother is a teacher, and so that, that's where a lot of my motivation comes from. Um, and personally, uh, throughout Mr. Hazlitt's uh, class, when I was uh, in there, it, it seemed that um, he was he was always very um, determined uh, and persevered to um, motivate his students. It wasn't um it, he never vacillated between whether you know teaching was really worth it or as some teachers may not have that same. Um, uh, push to educate their students. Um, it, it seemed to me like all of the um, students within his class were always engaged and um, excited upon what to learn next. And even um, as uh, daunting and uh, challenging as the test may have seemed, um, it, it always still uh, uh, seemed as the students were very um, uh, engaged and into uh, his teaching and and uh, for me it's always kind of been like there's a certain um, aesthetic to how the teachers uh, teach the subject uh, especially with history it's a different experience than um, environmental science or uh, literature or mathematics um, it's it's very interesting to learn about how the world was before your time and being able to reflect on that completely differently from what you thought of the world before that. And so you're able to look at the present scheme of things and um, really draw conclusions and see that history repeats itself and uh, it's probably going to happen again. So I feel like uh, Mr. Hazlitt certainly um, succeeded and definitely uh, teaching and educating his students to not only um, learn the qualifications they would need to uh, move towards a TOPS university program, but um, also uh, continue to stay motivated long after into uh, devoting their time towards that uh, area of education. Um, so I, I found that very motivating and that really pushed me to the question, well, what prevents me from um, going into history and political education in a university? And so that was very motivating towards me whenever I learned that that was possible through Nichols University. And whenever we talked about anything in class, he was, I mean, you can tell he was always interested in it. He was asking questions about things. And he, you know, sometimes the questions were, you know, a little not, I wouldn't expect any student to be able to ask the, asking the questions that he would ask. They were like a little advanced uh, questions about some of the subjects, but he was well knowledge about a lot of things before we even got to him. So he's been uh, studying up a lot of history, it looks like throughout the years too. So I mean, he's interested in it. I think it's going to bode well for Louis when he goes forward. The the type of uh, setting I would be in, maybe 20 years from now, you know, said um, the world would be uh, perfect. I mean, I would I would kind of see myself wanting to do what Hazlitt has uh, succeeded in doing, and uh, certainly continuing to uh, teach and educate students about um, world events and. Uh, really um, the, the, the way uh, people have uh, molded uh, society throughout the ages. And so that, that's something that really um, uh, 
really pinches my mind to uh, wanting to major in that specific area in, in New York City. I was going to college and trying to find a major. I was undecided and I always loved history and decided, hey, I'm gonna be a history major. Um, when I got my history degree, I needed two more classes for government degrees. So I went back and took those two classes. So I actually have a history degree and a government degree. And then it was like, okay, what am I gonna do with this? And it's kind of uh, what I'm, I'm trying to decide what to do. If I wanted to try to go to law school or just something else. And I always loved football, played football and wanted to get back around the sport. So it was like, well, let's get, let me try to get into coaching. and. That's what kind of led me to be a teacher is going into coaching. I went back and got my alternative certification and um, <clears throat> started coaching and teaching. And history is just something I've always stuck with me when it, when I hear it. And a lot of the kids that I teach, they love my class. You know, they get information that they never heard before. And they say, you know, I try to keep it fun and interesting. A lot of people think it's just boring, but I try to get some interesting things, some little videos, stuff to try to keep them interested in. And like I said, a lot of stories that I tell that they've never heard before. And tell me, look, if you don't believe me, go back and look at it, you know, look up anything. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna tell you your stories about stuff. If you have a question and if I don't know the answer to it, we'll look it up. You know, I don't wanna make up anything for them. And I think that's why they they like the class. You know, like I said, just try to keep it interesting, keep it, um, relevant try to when i can relate stuff this world history so you know sometimes you can relate all that stuff back and in certain parts when we get to it they're just all involved in and they want to learn over time though as the class progressed i became more um, um vested into um into what he was teaching and the different uh areas of history that I could learn from. And um, as he mentioned uh, uh, in, in his previous section, he mentioned that if I really put my mind to it, um, I could possibly um, go into uh, politics. And so I, I think that would that would also be uh, something to work towards as well. And I'm, I'm very um, appreciative that I have these opportunities available to me because uh, 20 years before, um, it was it was harder for people uh, and citizens to uh, get into uh, different colleges and programs and to be able to uh, apply for different scholarships. And so I'm very appreciative that I have that um, ability to pursue education in a fascinating way where I am more engaged. When I was in school, I, I, the last thing I thought I would be was a teacher. I just, you know, I went to school, did what I had to do. I played the sports I played. I was just trying to get what I had. Just kept my grades up because of athletics. You know, I know people don't like hearing that, but that's what I did. That's what kept me going. And then eventually going to college, um, I had a couple of professors at Nichols that they made stuff interesting, they made stuff fun. And it was like, you know what? I can, I could probably go back and do this. So, you know, high school, I really, like I said, I was just going about being a normal student. I just never, no one really stood out then that would, I feel made an impact on me. Um, other than our principal we had over there at that time, he was, uh, Mr. Luther Fletcher, he was inspirational for everybody over there at HL when I went there. Uh, but um, <clears throat> it wasn't really until I got college that I had some professors that, you know, got me like, you know, I like the way you're doing things. I can do things like them, maybe I can, incorporate some of that in what I'm doing as a teacher. Uh, well, like you mentioned, the environment is completely different from the last three years that I remember of high school. Um, and it's a different social experience too. And uh, I remember I always uh, reflect on to uh, last year whenever I was in uh, Mr. Hazlitt's class, it's completely different whenever it's in the moment when you're taking a history class or a political science class, you you don't realize that when you aren't going to take it you you will reflect on that and you'll remember i really wish i could have taken this class again